Welcome back to Five Day Crypto. My name is Chase, level one CMT and full time trader. Today we're going to look at Bitcoin. We're going to check on the four hour first, then we'll zoom out to the bigger picture. What do we need to watch at this week's weekly close? Let's get right to it. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Twitter, Telegram, Patreon for more content. After our lows back on September 6th, we've had a nice rally up. Current price is up 14% over the past seven days. But more importantly, We've gotten above the 200 EMA, this pink line, for the first time in over 100 candles. Our last one back on August 24th. We've just closed a nice bullish candle above that uh, 101 bars later. So now what do we want to look for going forward for the next couple of days, today especially? Uh, if we move back down, no big deal, we'd kind of want to hold around this zone. Uh, ideally, we don't want to move back below the 200, right? After you break through a major moving average, you don't really want to give it right back up. So this is kind of worst case, this green zone right here, uh, 58K, right? Nice round number, 58. If we lose that, back down, right? And then we have to kind of look at our stairs and floor levels below us. We have kind of the 56 level, 56.5. And then if that breaks, uh, the floodgates open a little bit more for the bears. But we don't need to be worried about that right now. Uh, and in fact, uh, we're starting to lean a little bit more bullish. We have our Gaussian channel just turn back green here. So bullish by definition, price action above all moving averages, and especially that 200. That is key. So the four-hour chart has certainly turned bullish uh, and should remain so, barring a, you know, a close back below 58.5 or so. All right. So not only that, we have a little bit of a volume confirming a little bit above the average See that blue line right there. That's the average volume. Anytime you see a power move or a bullish move, you want to have it confirmed with above average volume and we're getting just that. So a uh, great sign so far. So good there. Now let's zoom out to the daily. So what else do we have working for us? Well, I'm glad you asked. We have again, price action potentially closing above the 200, but we haven't closed yet. We have three and a half hours, depending on when you watch this, go check this out. If we closed above it, realize again, that's the first time since August 26th. Again, we're looking at 18 daily candles uh, since we've last closed above this. A good sign. The first good sign was closing above the EMA 8. Look how long it took us to do that. Almost just as long, right? Look at these closing prices. If you put on a line chart, you get a closing price. That was our first sign that the bulls were starting to show up. Closed there and started to hold this EMA8. Another great sign. Now we're following through with that. Our next overhead target uh, is around 61K. This blue line is the 100 day EMA. You can see we're kind of rejected here. Spent very low amount of time above it here. Kind of this tower top. A tower top is when you kind of form a wall kind of flat at the top and come right back down, right? You don't want to see those. We got a lot of those last bear market. Uh, we want to avoid that. Uh, and where can we do it, right? You start to close under any moving averages after getting back above it. That's where the trouble starts. So ideally, if we get up here, 61K, today, tomorrow, Sunday, going into the weekly close, we don't want to give it back. Look at this move here, right? We want to rhyme with this. So if we kind of hesitate, where do we find support? Right at the EMA 8, the uppermost moving average. Right now, it's way the hell down here. So it's got to cross up. And that would probably take uh, mid to low 60s. Uh, so step one, take out the 100. Step two, the next high, 64K. Step three, if we're going to get ultra bullish this weekend, there's your three levels. There's your three targets. And to the downside, it would be just in reverse order, right? The What, what are your key break points? Uh, the 200, right? The 21, that yellow line, or the MA8. One of those three would be your first warnings that... This move is going to fail and or a lower high, right? You can see we've been doing that quite easily, right? Lower high, lower high. So even if we put in a lower high so far, it doesn't mean a whole lot. We could just be stair stepping and we could put in our higher low here. So no big deal. But once we take out this EMA 200, we don't want to give it back. That's the key part. So uh, pay attention to that for the rest of this week. We can zoom out to the weekly and look at what we need to focus on this week. So we can look at a big pivot level that we gave up was right here. Uh, let's make this zone yellow, easier to see. Uh, you can see, look at all these low wicks, right? Our low close here, support, and we broke it big time here. We had a chance to save it, but uh, the big bulls were getting tired. 
and then we sunk it way down. Why, why did we go down so far so fast? We gave up the 21 right immediately after we recovered it, right? That's not a good sign. We closed with authority back under the 21. Never a good sign. And you know, not only that, you started to cross this EMA 8, right? The red line over other moving averages. That's another big warning sign. And we closed under here for multiple weeks. We made videos during this time saying if you close multiple candles under the 21, the trouble really has a greater chance of remaining versus uh, shrugging it off. We had a chance, but... Uh, it sucked us down here, right? So no, no bueno. Uh, and now we're still trapped under the 21. To get us out, we need 60,500 come Sunday. So make note of that. 60,500, the floodgates can start to open for the bulls. Not only does the 21 week there, all the moving averages are there. This zone is right there. Get above 61, 61, 5. It's a big win for the bulls. So that's our level and our line in the sand for this weekly close come Sunday. So make note, Gaussian channel, how's that looking? We haven't touched it. We want to avoid that like the plague. Quote of the day, if you can't convince them, confuse them. Bitcoin. <laughs> Car of the day, Ferrari SF90 Spider. What a magnificent looking Ferrari. One of the best in many years, in my opinion. Looks great, fantastic, and I got a bonus video if you're interested. Coming right now. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you on the next one. Let me know what you want to see more of. Next week, I'll be off. If you're watching this long, <laughs> uh, you're, you're probably a diehard, and you probably watch as many videos as you can of mine. Appreciate it. But I will be off next week. I'll be out of town on vacation. So I will be back the following week, and we'll do a lot more videos. We're going to kick off Q4 very bigly. There is no second best.